the takeaway welcome back to the channel today we are going to present our sixth case of neuro quiz you know pretty well the rules i present the clinical history i show you the images and you decide your guess uh, which you can post on the channel below so this is a very interesting case uh, from the province of misiones in the north of argentina this, uh, by the way, I suggest that you visit this place because we have the Iwasu waterfalls there, which are amazing. This patient uh, lives there and consulted two years ago, Dr. Hugo Solis, who is a neurologist and a friend of mine, and um, because of dizziness, he, that was his uh, main symptom. Uh, this was a constant feeling. Uh, he said uh, that he felt as if he were sailing on the sea. And he had also uh, some uh, gaze disturbances. Um, regarding the physical examination, uh, he had uh, ataxia, especially axial ataxia, and, and alterations at the level of the tandem gait. Uh, he had also some the difficulties on the um, gaze pursuit uh, test and on the um, left side um, finger nose and hirschian tests um, at the level of the cranial nerves he had a very mild uh, paresis of the right external uh, oculomotor nerve and the cognitive fu functions uh, were okay uh, as, as well as the motor function um, at the level of the lab he had uh, pretty normal uh, results the the basic uh, analysis were normal the csf were norm was normal the pcrs test for many virus uh, and bacteria were negative. The systemic uh, screening for an oncologic disease was negative. The rheumatologic uh, tests were negative. Uh, they asked for a panel for antibodies against um, um, immune-mediated encephalitis and paraneoplastic encephalitis both were normal and he received uh, an empirical treatment um, with steroids with methylprednisolone uh, for five days with pulses with uh, no result. Uh, so um, after two years of this pretty stable clinical and imaginological uh, picture uh, he uh, was referred to Buenos Aires, to the capital of Argentina, to Instituto Fleni, where she was uh, seen by Dr. Mayrene Gaitan, and Dr. Paulina Janies, and Dr. Alejandro Mugeri, who uh, will kindly collaborate with this presentation next week. There, they um, performed a procedure uh, that uh, made the diagnosis. Uh, so now, uh, without further ado, let's go to the images. And here we have the MRI. This is the first study, but uh, then he had many others during the following two years without any significant changes. As you can see on the right, you have the T2 sequence. There is a lesion compromising the bones and the right side, middle cerebellar pituncle and cerebellar hemisphere. This lesion is irregular uh, and it is uh, hyper intense uh, on T2 without significant mass effect. On the right you have the T1 sequence with GAD and as you see this lesion enhances in a very heterogeneous pattern uh, with areas of punctate um, areas of nodular and areas of ring-like enhancement. Uh, there is a, a, an open ring on the right hemisphere, cerebellar hemisphere. 
And here we have the diffusion weighted images on the left and the ADC map images on the right. And as you can see, this lesion is predominantly uh, associated with facilitation. Uh, and there is no clear areas of restriction. Most of the hyperintensity on diffusion are also hyperintense on ADC map. And the SWI sequence shows, as you can see, uh, some small punctate hypointensities that uh, turn, turned out to be hemosiderine because the CT didn't show any calcifications. Well, here you have some advanced sequences that we had the opportunity to perform in this case with a 3T magnet. On the left, you have the perfusion with the cerebral valve volume map. As you can see, there is hypoperfusion at the level of the lesion. And on the right, you have the spectroscopic curve with a TE of 144 milliseconds. Uh, and there is an increase in the choline creatine ratio, a decrease in the amplitude of the NAA peak, and a small amount of lactate and free lipids. So I think that with all this information, you are ready to offer us your guesses and please let us know in the channel. See you next week with the resolution. Bye bye.